This is Moto Edge 50 Fusion, a new mid-range phone that promises a lot. But is it really a good phone or is it just another phone in the crowded market? Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Deepankar and let's have a look at Moto Edge 50 Fusion. First of all, let me show you the unboxing. Now let's talk about design. The Edge 50 Fusion is really good in terms of design and build. This is one of the slimmest and lightest phones in this segment. It is only 7.8mm in thickness and 175 grams in weight, so you can comfortably use it with one hand. The volume buttons and the power key are located on the right side. You get the USB Type-C charging port, SIM card slot and a speaker grill at the bottom of the handset. The phone comes in marshmallow blue, hot pink and forest blue colors. The marshmallow blue and hot pink color variants feature vegan leather finish, but the forest blue color variant features PMMA finish. PMMA finish offers glass-like appearance on the back, although it feels less smooth but luxurious compared to glass. It also has IP68 rating for dust and water resistance, that's another plus point for the phone. The curved screen stretches from edge to edge and there are also minimal bezels. This provides an immersive viewing experience and makes it a comfortable phone to hold for extended periods. It comes with Gorilla Glass 5 protection, so you can be a little less worried about accidental bumps and scratches. The real star of the show here is the display. It is a large 6.7-inch panel with a super smooth 144Hz refresh rate. This high refresh rate makes scrolling through social media feeds and gaming incredibly smooth. By default, it is set to auto. You can also fix the refresh rate to 60, 120 or 144Hz if you want. Whether you are browsing photos or watching action-packed videos, the colors are rich and vibrant with deep blacks and excellent viewing angles. It has a peak brightness of 1600 nits. So one can comfortably use the phone's display easily under direct sunlight. The display also supports HDR10 plus content but I was not able to play HDR content on Netflix or YouTube. The phone runs Hello UI based on Android 14 out of the box. It provides almost the stock experience. You also get some apps from Motorola along with Facebook and LinkedIn but you can uninstall these apps if you want. The UI feels really smooth and it also has several customization options to personalize the experience. There are also gestures to get things done quickly. Motorola also promises 3 years of Android OS updates and 4 years of security updates. I'm not sure if the company will fulfill its promises. Moto H50 Fusion is powered by the Snapdragon 7S Gen 2 chipset. It also has Adreno 710 GPU to handle graphics requirements. This chipset is a decent choice and provides a seamless experience. H50 Fusion handles the workload quite efficiently. Be it the UI animations or the speed with which the apps launch, I see no stutter issues or inconsistency. Even while playing some demanding games, the phone did not let the frames drop and offered an enjoyable experience. While it won't win against top-of-the-line processors, it can handle most games on medium to high settings without dropping frames too much. I play PGMI and COD Warzone on a daily basis. I never had any issues related to performance. The phone also has good thermal management. It does not overheat even under heavy workloads. The phone comes with 8GB or 12GB of LPDDR4X RAM which provides smooth app switching and good background process handling. Storage options include 128GB or 256GB of UFS 2.2 storage. While UFS 3.1 offers faster loading time and app launch speeds, UFS 2.2 is still a capable storage and the difference might not be noticeable for everyone. Although benchmark scores are not as good as competitive phones, the phone feels smooth and fast in day-to-day -day usage. I also enjoyed gaming on this phone. The H50 Fusion comes with a dual rear camera system. It has a 50 megapixel Sony LYT700C sensor with f1.8 aperture and OIS. There is also a 13 megapixels ultra wide sensor offering 120 degree field of view. In good lighting conditions, the H50 Fusion captures detailed and sharp photos. The colors are generally well balanced. The autofocus is quick and accurate. The low light performance can be good or average depending on the lighting.
the ultra wide camera offers a mixed bag of performance. It captures decent photos, but details are not as crisp as the main camera. Colors appear slightly less vibrant compared to the main camera photos, and the performance becomes bad in low light conditions. At the front you get a 32 megapixel selfie camera. It is capable of capturing detailed selfies in different lighting conditions. It captures accurate skin tones and good sharpness in most conditions. There is also a portrait mode that captures photos with background blur. Low light performance could have been better, but it is still good enough considering the price. This is the 4K clip from Moto Edge 50 Fusion. You can record up to 4K videos from the rear camera. It captures good details and colors. However, it lacks vibrancy in some cases. Low light video performance is average with noise and reduced details. It also supports 4K video recording from the selfie camera. This makes it a great option for video calls or vlogging. Overall, I am satisfied with the camera of this phone. I can also make a dedicated camera review with more details. Comment below and let me know if you want a dedicated camera review of Moto H50 Fusion. The in-display fingerprint sensor unlocks the phone quickly and works well. It also supports face unlock that is a quick way to unlock the phone. H50 Fusion supports 5G for fast data speeds on compatible networks. It also offers Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, NFC and GPS. The dual speakers deliver clear audio for calls and media consumption. The speaker is loud enough to enjoy videos even without earphones. Support for Dolby Atmos also makes the audio better. I also enjoyed good audio on my headphones and earbuds. The Moto H50 Fusion packs a 5000mAh battery that offers a full day on a single charge with moderate to heavy use. Power users might need to top up before the end of the day, but casual users can potentially stretch it to 2 days. Screen on time can vary depending on the brightness settings and usage patterns, but you can easily get more than 6 hours on average. The phone comes with a turbo power 68W fast charging support. Normally it takes 55 minutes to charge from 0 to 75%. There is also a charge boost feature that you will have to enable manually. With the charge boost feature, I was able to charge the phone from 0 to 90% in the same 55 minutes. Moto H50 Fusion is a great option for users who are looking for a stylish and a capable mid-range phone with a long-lasting battery and a beautiful design. Gamers on a budget who don't mind playing games on medium settings might also consider this phone. The phone has a premium design, a stunning display, good performance and good cameras. If you are a power user who needs the absolute best performance, you might want to look elsewhere. You should not expect top-of-the-line performance when compared to flagship phones. UFS 2.2 is still capable, but UFS 3.1 could have been a better choice for a phone of this price segment. In less than Rs 25,000, Moto H50 Fusion is an excellent phone. The phone mainly focuses on offering a good overall user experience. That's it for this video. If you still have anything to ask, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more tech videos. Thanks for watching.